And a local dad is suing his son's school district after he's told he's banned from school grounds. The leadership of Gross Point Schools recently told Steve Sy his past behavior is making people fearful. They're calling this a matter of safety, but tonight Mr. Sy says he's no threat to anyone. Sean Lay following this story for us. Uh, Sean, we don't often hear about a school district banning a parent. And that's exactly what this parent is saying. Look, he says he has a son still in the district. How can they ban him from coming on school properties, a public school? And they said uh, he's saying that they don't like what he has to say to them in criticizing them another First Amendment right. But look, on the other hand, we just came out of the superintendent's office. He says after 693 emails from this parent that they call nasty, uh, they said that's enough. He's not welcome on school properties. I've never threatened anybody. Steve Sy, Gross Point School's parent, now suing the district and superintendent after Superintendent Gary Niehaus banned Sy from Gross Point School's property. The ban coming in the form of an October letter from Superintendent Niehaus accusing Sy of a bitter campaign of harassment towards district officials. I can't help it that Gary Niehaus is running the way he's running this. I've done nothing nothing in this letter that he claims. The district side in a span of 15 months, Superintendent Niehau says Sy sent 693 emails criticizing him and the administration of Gross Point North High School. Niehaus calls the emails mean, nasty, and uncalled for, creating a hostile work environment. There's a safety concern in this situation, uh, in this particular case. I strongly support our, our, our administrative team in North. I want them to be supported and, and I want them to feel that we're going to support them when we have people like this. Sai says he's simply speaking up about the things he believes are wrong and his rights are being violated and he's being silenced. They've turned Gross Point North into a laughing stock. They don't like that. They don't like that I bring up things that embarrass them. Back here live just outside of Gross Point North, all this heading to court now, this war of words. Mr. Sy says, look, he wants to come on to Gross Point North property with his eighth grade son for a very uh, upcoming uh, freshman orientation that's coming up in a few weeks. Superintendent says he's welcome to come, needs to come, but needs to ask permission first. Devin and Kimberly, that's the rub here. The dad is saying he doesn't need permission, so they're going to argue this out in a courtroom. Well, Sean, a gun was mentioned in the superintendent's letter to this parent. What, what was that about? You know, it was prominently featured in that letter saying, uh, Mr. Sy, you even brought a gun onto school property uh, during a football game. Mr. Sy and his attorney said a uh, police report was never filed. Today, the superintendent backed off of that a little bit, saying that he mm. is a concealed carry. The dad is a concealed carry permit holder and was asked to not uh, bring his uh, gun and it was put away. But at the same time, the superintendent is also pointing to what he says is an anger issue with this dad. So you got two sides here really knocking heads going to court now. Yeah, pretty good look at it. All right, Sean.